for ADCC East Coast Trials, 30 minutes out. This thing is wrapping around this corner, goes over there, wraps around again. It's going to the stairs already. What, what, have you ever seen anything like this? No, I haven't. Well, because, you know, we made a big change. We used to, not do, we used to do weigh-ins in the morning of. I personally hated it because, like, who the hell wants to cut weight at 5 a.m., go in the sauna, then get in a line with 1,000 people, and then go compete all day? So, luckily, we changed it this year. So, I think people are going to be happy. They just want to get the weigh-in over and then go home, get something to eat, and then come and uh, go beast mode tomorrow. All right, you've been here before, made the semis, won the bronze medal match last time. How do you envision it going down this week in Atlantic City? Me winning, obviously. Obvi uh, you know, I never come out here to lose. I, you know, I got mad respect for everyone else in, uh, in the 88 kilogram division, but at the end of the day, I'm looking to take it home. You've done it before. You've gone out there eight matches in a row, submitted eight people. Do you think that gives you an edge going into another big bracket here? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it gives me an edge, uh, I guess, just knowing what I'm going into because uh, it can be kind of overwhelming for first-timers. But uh, uh, regardless, it's going to be a fucking war. So ready, ready for whatever comes my way. And how much do you think the experience from Las Vegas is going to help you? You've already won a massive 256 guy. You've gone out there. You've done the two days of grueling matches. You know you can do it. How much do you think that's going to help you going into this weekend? Honestly, I think experience is one of the best things that you can have going into a bracket like this. There's not many brackets that you're going to go into that have almost 300 competitors. So I think that alone is going to help a lot. But there's four or five guys that have already done that the same as well. So you're going to have to battle it out, and that's where the grit's going to come in. So just whoever wants it more, I think. All right, so that's it. ADCC weigh-ins about to wrap up here at the East Coast Trials. 1,100 competitors weighing in today. A lot of people still in line, but it's going to be two days of grueling, non-stop ADCC action. Can't wait for it. Good, both submissions. Got a choke from the back. First round, second round, mounted, got the arm triangle. All right, how you feeling going into day two? Feeling solid. Not sure who I've matched up. The bracket seemed to kind of switch halfway through. I was supposed to fight Chris heading first, originally what it said. But, so I'm not sure who I got, but I'm from whoever. So. All right, thank you. Home. How are you feeling compared to the last time you were in Atlantic City? Uh, 
good. I feel like uh, hopefully I'm a lot better looking. I've been working real hard on my aesthetic, so hopefully I get something to give uh, everybody something to watch. You think you're a better version of yourself than you? Well, thousand percent, man. Thousand percent. I've improved so much. You know, I just look at everything like an experience and a chance to grow. So I feel like when you keep that mindset, you keep that attitude, it's hard not to get better. You're not even sweating, man. What's the game plan for tomorrow? How's it going to go down tomorrow? Uh, me with a gold medal. All right, Michael Sears here at Atlantic City for ADCC East Coast Trials Day 2. These giant 200-something-plus guy divisions have been whittled down to 32 people. The 88-kilogram division was crazy yesterday. It's going to be fun to watch and see who comes out today. We have J-Rod, William Tackett, Jacob Couch, Ryan Aiken, a whole bunch of big names in this division. Can't wait to see who qualifies for Worlds and T-Mobile. I see a king, I'm at his neck I'm three steps ahead of every move Now that's a check, yes They wanna know my secret It's because I never slept All my nightmares of me at 40 Life's a wreck See my dad, he in debt And my mom, she upset That's way back when 408 on Seminole was the address I saw things I shouldn't have Though I love the fam to death Way back then it was a mess We was living check to check Now my shirts are getting pressed you gon' see me shit pissed And my fans are quite obsessed I own everything I'm dead Made a lot of make it hard and aim it The L.W. Hammer, Jacob Our plan in the match was to go for the straight ankle lock uh, Went pretty much perfect as well you know, They had a match before in the Who's Number One 
You can never count J Rod out. You know, last year submitted everybody who's incredible. So, uh, you know, but uh, the game plan worked well and on to the finals. Now, on to the finals, a rematch of last time in Atlantic City. Elder Cruz just beat William Tackett. What do you think about the final? Well, Elder's, Elder's the toughest guy in the division, I think. Um, he's beat us twice. I think today's the day we're going to see Jacob Koch get sent on. So, uh, going to talk game plan, win this finals. Jacob Couch, the Hillbilly Hammer, seven for seven, right? Seven mm -hmm. submissions in yep. seven matches. Get your first ADCC trials gold medal. How are you feeling right now? Incredible, man. I've, I've never felt better in my entire life. I, I, I knew this day would come eventually. I never knew when it would come, but I knew one day that I would be able to punch my ticket through. And I've, you know, invites invites are great, and like I would have loved to get one of those. And being a late a last minute replacement has always been a hope of mine. But to be able to earn my ticket, punch my ticket through, and really solidify myself and solidify my position in the ADCC, nothing means more than that. What kind of emotions were you going through? You went running around, you gave a high five to every person in the, in the entire building. What kind of emotions went through your, your mind when, when you won the gold medal? I felt like fucking John Cena, bro, when he comes out of the tunnel. You know, you hear that music playing and all that shit starts, bro. It was like, I just felt like, a, like I was a superstar, man. Like I was the main character of my movie, you know, and it, it felt like, I'll be honest, it was probably the best feeling of my entire life being able to come out with that W, you know. Uh, I've had three matches with Elder before. I've lost all three. I got the one that mattered today, and I was able to punch my ticket through home to the ADCC next year. Next year, ADCC 2024, the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. You're going to be out there in front of almost 15,000 fans. I mean, what do you guys say about that? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to be ready, man. I can't fucking wait. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All day. Awesome, bro. Thanks, man. Love you, bro.